Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a St. Patty's Day Manny to show you. And I am starting out with this gorgeous Madame Glam gel polish called Shamrock Shake. It is part of their smoothie collection and it is delicious. Look at that. Oh, I love it so much. This is one of my absolute favorites and I certainly don't use it enough. So. I am going to apply two thin coats of this, and it's really easy to apply, um, but you'll see I'm being a little picky because I want certain glitters, so I'm trying to get those big chunky gold ones on there, And but yeah, the formulation on this is really great. I love it so much. So I'm just applying two coats of this. Um, it really could have used three. But I kind of liked the sheerness of it and just the way the light hits underneath. It was just a really pretty effect. So I left it at two coats. Um, but to get it completely opaque without anything underneath of it, I think three coats would have been good. So the inspiration for this Manny um, came from the lovely Bombshell Nails. And she nor I have a um, like a St. Patrick's Day themed stamping plate, nothing with like shamrocks on it or anything like that. So she used this gorgeous, um, these gorgeous images, and I don't know what they were, just kind of like an abstract design, and it just turned out so elegant and, and beautiful. I just totally took inspiration from that and went through my stamping plate and found um, a couple images that I thought would look really cool. So I'm going to use this one here. This is BPL046. And you always want to remove your blue film, of course. And I'm going to do a little mini review here on this plate and a stamper that I just recently got. So the images I'm going to use on this plate are this flower image up here. It looks clover-esque, um, but not exactly, <laughs> but it did turn out really pretty. And this Essie Polish, Good as Gold, I just picked this up from the drugstore, it was the last one they had. It stamps so beautifully, super opaque, and it's just the perfect gold that I needed. And of course the stamper is from my recent Amazon Born Pretty haul. I got this from Amazon. and. They come with this beautiful little scraper here. And I got this one, this big blue one, and a small clear one, um, kind of like a monocle style stamper. This one here. And it also came with the same scraper. So cute with the little design on it. It's a firmer scraper, uh, but I kind of prefer the Born Pretty one. It's a little bit more flexible. So the stamper itself is super, super squishy. Um, I, it's, it's amazing. I love it. It's got an open bottom, so you get that nice squish. And I can't fault this stamper at all. It's amazing. It's got a nice thick lip on the inside to hold the stamper head in. Um, my monocle stamper from Bundle Monster likes to like kind of fall in. It doesn't have a large enough lip to hold the stamper head in. This one does not slip at all. It's wonderful. So I didn't do anything to the stamper except for take it out of the package and put my fingers all over it. <laughs> and then I cleaned it off with my lint roller. So I did do a couple practice um, stamps with it to see how it worked. And it does work by pushing straight down and picking up. And it also works with the rolling. I think the rolling technique works a little better with the stamper. And I'm a little better with the rolling technique. So that is what I ended up using with it. Look at that image. Oh, it's so pretty. It picked up really well. So I'm just going to place these on my nails. And yeah, that's about that. <laughs>
So again, a huge thank you to Bombshell Nails for the inspiration behind this man. I really had no idea what I was going to do for my St. Patty's Day Manny, um, but this turned out so elegant and beautiful and still St. Patty's, but you know, without the clovers and rainbows and all that, I, I just think it's so pretty. So I really love it. I think I say that about all my Mannies, <laughs> but, but I did. I really loved how it turned out. Um, so real quick here, I showed you this scraper that came with the stampers and it's got this beautiful image on it and it's etched in there and I thought, I wonder if I could stamp this image. So I definitely tried that <laughs> and it worked. So I'm going to show you a quick demo here of me stamping this image off of the scraper. Um, it's just like an extra little mini stamping plate. It's got beautiful scroll work on it and some butterflies and it's just really pretty and I was tickled that it actually worked so and I, I did it a couple times and I got an even better pickup than this so I took it and I did my whole right hand with the images off of the scraper and it looks so cute and I've got pictures at the end to show you so yeah I definitely wanted to show you guys that and it cleaned up very well with some acetone just like a stamping plate it was really neat. So here are some pictures of my finished Manny, both hands, and they're absolutely adorable. Um, if you guys liked it, please give me a big fat thumbs up. I would appreciate that. And subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And yeah, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.